Greetings gamers, and today I'm going to be showing off a little more of Monkey Quest Reborn. Today we're in the Chimfu area, specifically the Jade Mountain, and I plan to show off some of the grappling hook mechanics along with the vendors today. Um, vendors were recently introduced in a new update, and I just haven't shown off grappling hook yet, and it's a pretty cool mechanic. So, as you can see, you have this little test board here. You can zoom like this using Enzo, who is your chameleon companion throughout the game. So, if we go over to here, this there's a little bit of a, sort of a grappling hook puzzle. It's more of an introduction to the mechanics for the first time you come into the tribe. Also, this little devlog here, um, it's to alert the devs when things are wrong. For some reason, it's enabled on the current test build, so um, I might have to cut in case it shows any personal information from the devs, so if you see anything like that, just ignore it. It's perfectly intended. Anyway, there's some really weird mechanics that go along with this. Um, it's a bit of an odd swinging. It's a little janky, but in that good that good nostalgic sense, you can do, if you saw like that, that little uh, teleport there, there's a couple of neat things you can do with this. It's not particularly well made, but it's cool. Um, that's Enzo giving us the NC Mall uh, tutorial. So yeah, let me clear this one last time. I think whenever you grapple onto one of the blue chameleons, it activates the devlog. So here you can see the rest of the Jade Mountain area. This isn't what we're here for today, but of course each one of these will take you to a different sector of the Chimfu tribe, and some of these branch off even further into other stuff. Um, to get up to this one, you actually have to take a chameleon, which is a pretty neat way of transportation. Um, and yeah, here's Lost Fortress, which is of course... The last level of the area, um, for now, dot dot dot. Alright, so I keep forgetting that this cause errors. So our next step, what I really wanted to do today is check out a Grand Glowing Market. Um, it's also worth no mentioning that I have sound effects off right now because the waterfalls in the background have a glitch sound effect, so whenever I turn the sound on for them, they play really, really loudly. So, sadly, we can't have sound effects right now, unless you want your ears to die. And personally, I don't want your ears to die, so there's, there's at least some consideration in there. So yeah, we're going to climb this rope here and take a short little trip to Grand Glowing Market. So um, I'll probably cut to when this loads. My epic journey is going wonderfully. Alright, so here's our chat box here. Here we are in Grand Glowing Markets. Um, I think I still can't turn this on, but yep, that's very loud. Um, yeah, I have to keep that turned off now. We can, in here, see Master Shade there, who gives quests for now. Quests aren't fully working, so I'm a little scared to show it off, but they're being worked on pretty actively right now, since quests are sort of the main thing keeping you from getting out of Crossroads tutorial-wise, aside from obviously combat. But, we got to a person whose name I'm not going to try to pronounce. Um, I'll sell some good dried banana bits, shiny red apples, I'm sure. Some of these are quite nostalgic, of course. 10,200 hit points for 15 seconds. Some very cool stuff here. I'll just kind of mouse over each soup and take in the beauty. Um, he doesn't sell anything particularly interesting. But yeah, there's your food vendor. This is a pretty, this is like your mid-game vending area. Um, so you're not going to get anything too, too overpowered here. Here is we have our tonics boy. Um, yeah. I'll mouse over all these so you can see them. Got some higher end healing pots in here, of course. Um, although the healing staff as a weapon was, well, the tool was pretty broken, so we weren't really going to get much new use out of these. Also, my 50,000 bananas is purely development. Um, not every player is going to have 50,000 bananas at the start of the game. Let's see, if we jump up here, we can find this vendor, who of course sells some of the clothes from the tribe. We've got a Shimfu t-shirt, now NC Mall items, which will eventually come MC, are not purchasable at the moment. However, we can look on in beauty. Got our Space Cadet helmet, which doesn't have an asset in yet. Same for these teal princess pants. This magical princess hair. This ma other ma- oh, this mystical princess hair. Pardon my uneducated nature. Um, panda shirt, of course, legendary. Recruit shirt. Got the straw hat. 
good be a good bit of these don't have um assets for them yet, so you can't fully appreciate their glory. Um, I will mouse over them though, and I'll give a click, quick, a click, a click, quick, a quick click if I could speak, please. Um, so you can possibly see if there's anything that appears. Yeah, this shop doesn't seem to be fully complete just yet. Um, although I do, I noticed for a fact. Anyway. Ancient Fuel Archive is, of course, over there. And yeah, that's the entrance to Chimfu Square. So what I'm probably going to do is quickly re-enter this area. Oh, I forgot this chain, too. <laughs> I have loaded back into Grand Glowing Markets with this. I love this soundtrack. Um, this is quite possibly my favorite of the uh, Shinfu ones in particular. So... Now that we're here, I do believe I'm going to go to the shop over here because I just personally like what this one has to offer. I'm going to show off some of the clothing. I'd love to buy your stuff. We've got, of course, this um, Celestial Guardian tunic. I'll definitely add that one. Yes, please. Um, we've got the Celestial Guardian headdress. Guardian headdress. This kind of reminds me of um, Prince Zuko in like, Season 1 of uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, honestly. Got um summer breeze pants. I don't believe those are have an asset in yet. Summer dress top. Ceremonial uh skirt of the Phoenix. This must break every single time. Oh wait. Anyway. So while this isn't fully working as intended yet, um I hope that gave you a little glimpse into the vendors, and I do have one more thing to show off if you would allow me a moment to furiously type into the keys. Um so one of the very exciting, very spooky things planned for upcoming Monkey Quest Reborn updates that aren't necessarily coming soon, and I'm not giving you any date in particular, please don't quote me on this, but there is a plan to add more content to the game after completing the full um, creation. And while new content, of course, isn't a focus right now, particularly because mainly the developers are focusing, focusing on getting stuff like combat and quests working, so that the game is fun and cool and good. However, one of the members of the team, Monkey Hugh, has been working on making a couple new Ice Raiders items to expand their web repertoire. So I uh, here I have a Helmet of the Avalanche and Shadow Sentinel Helmet, both of which can sport completely new models for the monkey character. Um, so seeing this unique content, essentially the first unique content we've seen in six years of Monkey Quest is very, very cool to see. So, clothing is of course still being actively worked on, but I hope this little video gave you a glimpse into the updates that's been going on around Monkey Quest Reborn. Of course, as you can see in that bottom right corner, it is of course a development build. Everything is very early and Monkey Quest Reborn is nowhere near launch, but the devs are working very hard. I hope this gave you a little glimpse into the process of the updates Monkey Quest Reborn is going under. So, until next time, um, I'm pretty desperate for video ideas right now. I have a couple of things I'm working on, but if you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the description below. If you want to yell at me too, leave them in the description below. Well, not description, comments. You know what I mean. This is perfectly well scripted. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, wash your hands and have a toontastic day.